Next, let us take a look at string manipulation. String is used to hold any text. So for example, I have a string x equal to James T. If I want to concatenate string, I can do it like this. So this statement will print hello space and then it will concatenate it with James Dean to print out hello James Dean. If I want to convert the string into uppercase, I can say x dot to uppercase. Now like this, there are so many different methods. You can see here, when I say x dot, you have all these methods that you can do with. That is trim, uppercase, like you know, uh, substring and all those things. We will take a look at few of these string methods. x dot to uppercase will convert that particular string into uppercase. So x dot substring of 2 will print everything from the second character. Now what is the second character? Remember when you have string x equal to James Dean, will internally create an array of characters like this. So you have like James Dean each in their own boxes and it will label it as x of 0 to x of 9. So when you say x of substring of 2, it will take from the second character that is x of 2 till the rest of the word. So MES space Dean will be printed. When you say x of substring of 2 comma 7, then what happens is it will print from the second character up to but not including 7. So it will print MES space and then D up to but not including 7. So here you can see that MES space D has been printed. X dot caret 3 will print out the character at the third position that is E will be printed. Now sometimes what happens is you may get a number as a string. For example, you have a string age equal to 37 which is basically a string and then string salary equal to 78,965.83. Now if you have a number as a string, you cannot manipulate it. That is if I want to divide age by 2 or if I want to like you know multiply age by 2, I cannot do that. So how do I convert a string into a number? Well, we have a concept called wrapper classes. If you want to convert some kind of a string into an integer, this particular age into integer, you can do something like this. You can say integer dot parse int and then you can pass this particular string. So what this will do is this particular class called integer will take the string of age 37 and it will convert it into an integer and it will assign it to a. Now this you can divide by 2 if you want to. So here you can see that I am taking this particular salary which has a decimal number and I am converting it into a double number double dot parse double and then I am passing the salary and then whatever the double value I get I can multiply with 0.15. I cannot do like divide by 2 here. It will give me an error. It will say that you cannot divide string by 2. But I can convert the particular string age into an integer and then divide it by 2 and I can assign it to a. Or I can like say add 2 for this. So now if I run this, you can see that I got 39 as the answer because I have added 2 and I am getting 15% of the particular salary that is 11,000. So this is called wrapper classes. There is a wrapper class for every primitive data type. Of course, the next question will be like, okay, we saw integer and you just introduced double to us to hold decimal places and you also sh showed us a uh, string which holds text. What are the other data types that Java has? Java has eight primitive data types. Byte, short, int, long, float, double, character, boolean. Now out of these, you will be using mainly integer for holding any kind of a whole number. An integer can hold a whole number of this range. If you want to hold any decimal values, you can use a double. And for holding true or false, you can use a boolean. Now string is not a primitive data type, but then use string to hold text values, that is string x equal to hello world or any text values. 
you will not be using byte short and long you can use long if you have like a really long whole number and for all decimal places you can use double instead of a 32 bit float so once again you will mostly use integer to hold a whole number a number without any decimals or you can use long and for using decimal use double for text use string for true or false value use boolean